Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ryan, and today I'm going to be reviewing a beer from the Other Half Brewing Company. And this specific one is brewed out of their Brooklyn, New York brewery. And this is their Dream in Green, a double dry hopped oat cream India Pale Ale. They usually have quite the mouthful for their, their beers. Uh, I'll be honest, um, I can't remember if I had this one before or not. I know I've seen it around, I just don't remember if I ever grabbed it. There was a point in time where uh, I was drinking a lot of other half and I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to kind of take a break from it and I wasn't grabbing everything that I saw of them on the shelves. So with that said, I figured I would grab this one. I know I didn't do a review of it before. So this comes in at 6.3% ABV. This is brewed with Citra, Motueka, Waititi, oats, and milk sugar. Has a little spiel here, but has some tasting notes, which I will not get into. So if I remember, which I usually don't, I will read it at the end. Uh, the date is a little smeared, literally just smeared on my finger here says 12 20 something of 23 which should be fine if it's 12 20 something uh this is the first week of december that i'm doing this so it's maybe like two weeks old something like that um should be fine uh let's see anything else i don't think so oh, let's see what untap says probably the same exact thing that was on the can dream and green is an oat india pale ale brewed with over 50 percent oats a little bit of lactose sugar and crushed with citra motueka and waititi hops with a second dry hopping and ah oh, I did actually check this in, so there we go. I have had this before. I just never actually reviewed it. All right, let's get into it. Now I know I previously gave this a 4.2. I saw that, I'm not going to lie. So we'll see if I agree with it this time. So, that pours out a milky light yellow coloration with, I'm going to say, half a finger of white sups, soap sudsy head. Yeah, that's definitely a milky, milky color. Give you a good look. All right. Dream in green. All right. Let's get a nose on her. Dream in green. It does have like a green vinous uh, smell to it, as well as some tropical notes for sure. Yeah, but definitely uh, to me, what stands out is this like green vinous I wouldn't say dank green not like a Mary Jane green but uh, uh like a green vine kind of uh, 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 green and then there's I'm getting like a pineapple uh, citrus kind of notes but then I'm also getting like a, a tropical fruit in there like a like a passion fruit Actually poured a little too much in there for me to truly get my fat face in there. Yeah, in terms of the, the, the like the fruity notes, I'm I'm getting uh, like a pineapple and and like a passion fruit. All right, I'm diving in. Cheers. Mm. Okay, so. Higher side of medium body. It's got a bit of a creamy mouthfeel to it. A 
but yet it's still uh, well carbonated. Definitely getting the passion fruit. That that definitely was like a wow, yeah. Passion fruit, maybe even some dragon fruit as well in there. It's been a while since I've had dragon fruit, but um, that, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm getting. But up front, I'm getting that green vineous, vineousness, whatever you want to call it. I know I've heard Mike from FLX uh, call it that. It's it's just like this green note. Um, not that I've ever tasted it, but it's like the, the smell of the leaf of a tomato plant. Um, you know, if you've ever like rubbed the leaf of a tomato plant, smelled your fingers before, that, that it's not nearly as pungent as that, but it, it's like a subtle version of that. Yeah, so that hits up front and then gives way midway through the palate to um, all those tropical notes. I'm getting that passion fruit, feel like I'm getting some dragon fruit there. And then on the finish, I'm getting that like pineapple citrus kind of note. Yeah, also finishes a tad bit dry as well. It, it, this is a nice beer. Uh, I can already say I, I feel like this is going to be a quick review. Um, I covered everything all the, the on the nose, the taste. What is this? Eight? Did I say? Ah, six point three percent. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's something to talk about. I'd say this has a lot of flavor for a six point three percent beer. Um, I would actually, in terms of flavor wise, I would expect this to be more um, like an eight percent. Um, Alcohol-wise, I mean, 6.3%. You can't tell it's a 6.3%. And with medium body, that's, uh, you know, from the oats and probably the lactose as well. I really would expect this to kind of be more like an 8% uh, double. Um, with that said, yeah, I would stick with a 4.2, 4.25 uh, with this beer. This is a it is a good beer. I like the fact that it's this low in the ABV, six point three percent, and not an eight percent, and has all this flavor. Um, it's a good beer. All right, so that's all for this one. Other half, Dream in Green, four point two five percent. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and comment down below. Let me know. Have you had other halves Dream in Green, and what did you think of it? Till next time. Peace.